What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Mutt24 competitive video. In this video, I'm going to be matching up with another opponent in the MCS Ultimate Kickoff Ladders. And this game was also another hell game. My opponent was in Bengals tight, Bengals bunch, a lot of Bengals tour. Fortunately for him, he wasn't the best on defense, so it resulted in a shootout. But man, this, this game comes down to the final and last play. I definitely recommend watching to the end. If you haven't watched my first video on the MCS Ladders, the guy I was playing in the first video was spamming and money play out of Trips tight end. I already know you guys are feeding for that content, so go watch it now. And here we go, guys. Let's get into the gameplay. I want to say this is like my fourth or fifth game. I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. It's actual foe VC. And we honestly get off to a hot start, and things just don't click out at like towards the middle of the gameplay. But here we go. Once more, re receiving the ball. I want to go out on a limb and say if you played Madden 23, maybe Madden 22, this dude is gamer tag is I got VC boy. But I don't know if this is him. I'm not going to say anything, you know, if this is him or not. Um, obviously, there's no way for me to know. Right here, playing great defense. One thing you're going to be noticing about this, my opponent, is he's going to line up his slot on the left side. Every game, every every play this game. And he honestly might have had a Ravens theme team the way his players are moving out here. Right here, guys, we're going to go verticals wheel route. That could have been snagged, honestly, by Hamilton just because of the velo cams are kind of mid in this game. Or excuse me, just to the fact that we don't have a velo cam and the ball be flowing sometimes. But right here, bunch tight end, Jets tour. You're going to see a lot of open touchdowns on this bunch tight end crossing route. Devin Hester gets in for the first score of the game. And we're feeling nice, you know. Um, anytime you have a nice, easy drive like that, honestly, it was two plays. But anytime you bomb your opponent, uh, you just you just know it's going to be a, a, a long game play, right? Uh, right here, Kadarius Tony. Takes it up to the 27. He almost almost made me miss. But here we go, man. I'm in the dime normal this game. Trying something different. Trying to throw off my opponent. See if he likes the blitz or not. And we're lining up down here. I saw a few people running this blitz. And right here we do get some pressure by Junior Seo. I want to say Huddle GG or someone uh, invented this blitz. So I decided to run it for a few, few games. See how it is. And here we go. This flood play. Absolutely insane out of Bengals tight. We thought it was patched. We thought it was cooked. It got only better, in my opinion, this year. Uh, the only thing I could say is right here, we drop a pick. I guess we need pick artists right there, but it's all good. Uh, only thing I guess you could say is that that corner route really is kind of mid. It does not beat the same coverages that it used to beat last year, but um, everything else out of this Bengals tight is honestly insane. Right here, drop another pick almost. Uh, if you want to call that a pick, then sure, but we deflect the ball at least. Um, big play right here. We make some crazy adjustments. Somehow, 80 overall tight end. Ben Likely or Ben Lively gets open on Jalen Ramsey. Um, but it's all good because, you know, we're still playing great defense. There goes Junior Seau on the pressure in this dime normal. I definitely could tell he's kind of like, all right, I don't know about this defense. Right here, guys, we're going to go and play some cover two man-to-man. -man. He's running flood again. Flood in this gameplay, just I could not stop it. This Bengals tight slots tour was absolutely annoying to stop. And we end up getting a pick with Chase Young. So that's something you don't see all the time. We finally get a stop on third and 16. That's how you're gonna get a lot of stops this year, guys. In the red zone, especially when people are no huddling, no huddling, no huddling. It's hard to no huddle in the red zone, right? You actually gotta pick specific plays because your normal plays aren't gonna work. Right here, the Jets tour once more back on action, back on offense. We're gonna hit him with a dot. Right here, we're gonna deep corner, just trying to, you know, Space out the field, hit our flats, hit our drags, and hopefully a corner route opens up uh, with the, with us doing that. Deep corner again, and we're going to hit this in route, and we're cooking up now, man. I'm telling you, we were cooking up. Honestly, it comes down to the fact that we he didn't get any pressure right there, and my man says, I think, in match. So uh, that's going to happen eventually, right? You get no pressure in match, something's going to be wide open. You technically want to just run match for the sheds and all that like it's a coverage defense right it's shed defense you need some sheds um but you know 14-0 like all right we're cooking up we're doing pretty well let's stay in this dime honestly you could tell i have no idea what i'm doing and here we go thankfully he overthrew it but i should as soon as i seen that i'm like all right bro we got to start running backwards man we are the deep third we got to start doing that right here once more pretty good coverage pretty good defense um you're you're probably wondering all right when is this going to become and start becoming a good game it's coming, man. Trust me. We all know how these games go. Right here, amazing dot. That's a great dot, man. There's no, there, there was an open read. Verticals beats the cover three. And once more, I, I don't know why I'm not running back. I'm running press man on Devin Hester. 
thinking that route was bad. I've been told so many times, oh, this route sucks. This flood route, this post route doesn't get open. I guess if you press up, man, it does get open, especially with these new fast receivers, Ocho and Devin Hester. So this is a visual look firsthand of me playing flood for the first time when it's actually pretty good. Like I said, I'm in, I'm in buster defense. What that means is like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get, get some pressure. Um, I don't know how to run the defense I'm currently running. I'm gonna make a switch uh, in this upcoming drive, I wanna say, but it only it only becomes a sh more of a shootout from there. Right here, uh, it was an open read, but you know, he kind of ran, ran the route weird. Um, right here, vertical's wheel route. We try to sneak it in. Great defense. I think that was JC Horn. I'm telling you that JC Horn has been a nightmare for me. All the guys rocking the budget squads have been picking me off with him. He's been playing everything, I feel like, but he's, he's a very good piece. Can't wait for him to get a fast recovery. Right here, we switch it up. We get in the 3-3-5 three, three, wide, and we're playing good coverage now. We're spying dudes up. There he goes, Jay Jettas. How is this open? I don't know. That one, he just gets a speed burst. I'm gonna rewind it. Look at the guy right here. We out of cage, we're right here. And then he bumps off and he gets a speed boost. Or Ramsey slows down, one or the other. This flood route kept cooking me over and over and over. Bengals, tight slots, Bengals tour is back and better than ever in my opinion. Uh, I played a lot of dudes running Bengals this, this weekend and all of them were cooking me up, man. Whether it was in tight slots, motioning people left and right, or just in bunch, honestly the bunch isn't too good, but man, he was giving me a trouble. Right here, nasty free form to the inside, Franco Harris angle route and we are gone. Can we make our final guy Cameron Curl miss? Doesn't even matter, we just outrun him to the sideline, spamming that RB for the one time. And here we go, 21 to 14. So I felt like in this game, I could have chewed clock and took him out of there. Something I'm gonna do next ladders, quote me on that for sure, is I'm gonna have that chew clock ready to go. And we're running through these games, man. I get a lead, I get a stop, I'll be seeing you next game, man. We will be seeing you uh, for sure. Right here, flood again. The only reason this was working, and it's still an amazing play, right here we get a nice B gap. But man, I kept hearing, oh, it's not that good this year, man. Bengals is not that good. Flood isn't good. I don't, shit, he was running it versus me. He wanted to throw that post so bad, I could tell you that. But he ends up having restraint and throwing it away. But that's what I was hearing, like, oh, Bengals isn't that good this year, blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, my, my dude was cooking me up. Right here, I don't know why he forced his pass in. Uh, this was probably the easiest pick I've had in Madden 24 so far. Pick artist. The dude just absolutely chucks it over his head, and that was like by far the easiest pick I've had. So, like I said, at this point, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm still trying to run offense just because, like, it's a new game, right? You want to cook up dodge. You don't want to run the ball on true clock. Here, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm still passing. I do have true clock on it, but I'm still passing, right? So, I, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, okay, let me try to blur these guys, get them out of there. In reality, I should be just running the ball and shooting clock because passing, passing for no reason. Cause like I'm in like this like like right there right on cue man, I'm in this kind of like oh yeah I'm locked in mode but I'm kind of also kind of messing around trying to see what works experimenting I guess you could say he ran match right there again he was running the same coverage and I kept letting him do it but yeah man this that's why this end game plan ends up turning out to be a hell game flood that's all I'm gonna say flood Bengals tight and profit make easy money make easy freaking yards on that play flood is all i'm gonna just say right there there's nothing else i can say flood uh once more is press man learn my lesson right i'm gonna have a deep third right there from now on whenever i play that Bengals tight but all like i said all i kept hearing is like oh this isn't getting open i don't know what they did if it was a ghost patch or you know whatever i guess it was the new receivers being faster right it's right here we're gonna hit a nasty dot we end up not scoring but you know you gotta post i gotta post We'll call it at that, right? I gotta call my post if you call yours. Right here, like I said, man, everything was open. I was just trying stuff. And I do have two picks, right? Um, one of them, I was just, I guess both of them are just on verticals. Um, so definitely gotta just start running the ball more. It's right here, you see, all right, like, you know, if I'm in a position to lose, I gotta take it more serious, right? We're gonna run the ball. We gotta, you know, we gotta get up on and you know, still win this game. You know, we did throw a couple picks right here. We're, we're taking it down nice and slow. Tyree Kill falling down to the nine. Got to get seven right here, and we're in a good spot. We go bench with the two out routes and the curl route, or excuse me, the angle route, and we throw a pick. So 
just dumb dumb play my red zone and jets was definitely a little lacking i won't lie to you on that it's right here flood again i mean flood every route that you pick it route it's open probably man's had 10 completions 240 yards right here ends up getting sacked calls a timeout that that's going to be the half pretty much for the most part he could definitely throw another dodge right here tries to sneak one in that's going to be the half right here guys he's going to start off the half all right and now i'm in like the first disadvantage of the game i think i scored my first drive got to stop scoring my second drive he scored but now let's see how he plays because people play different when they get the lead or they have the advantage he's uh still kind of playing the same trying to cook up out of this Bengals tight Right here, he just makes a very bad read. He was very post happy, and he was horned up for the post, um, but it wasn't there. Right here, he low key maybe had that vertical route. I, I think I ran cover four, so that tight end might have been open, but I don't know. I he, I threw a pick on the same thing. Right here, he goes to the in route. Uh, thankfully, his route just kind of stopped. Otherwise, I was in some serious trouble. And here we go, fourth and two. Got to get my stop back. Is there anything open? Yes, there is. Great dot. Mans was cooking up out this Bengals tight, and he, I swear, he only had like two or three setups. But as the game progresses, he's going to start cooking up more and more and more. Nasty quick hike. There goes Devin Hester on the verticals. The routes bumped, and just very frustrating when your routes bump. And there's a no huddle over and over and over again. And we finally have the, we finally don't have a lead. Right here, Chad Johnson is going to try to get us a back, but we only get to the 40 yard line. Bunch tight end. PA boot over, good old classic play. And I'm telling you, man, my man was not in, he was in just Buster D. He was just trying to, you know, bend, don't break, hold in the red zone. I think I understand that now. That's what he was trying to do. Cover four, a lot of match, a lot of just deep zones on the field. Why curl the Franco right there? Absolutely cooking. And there goes Devin Hester once more. Bunch tight end, open on the crosser. Jets tour is cooking and alive. I could have thrown that honestly, like almost every play. Because the way he was playing defense, he wasn't flipping. He wasn't audibling. I feel like he was making maybe one or two adjustments. Mans was living to play offense. And here we go, man. He, he's got Devin Hester cooking. And this is what I'm telling you when he was cooking up. He started motioning guys out in tight slots. Um, right here, good defense, but there's no spy. You play coverage, you got to have a spy a lot this year, man. Or some contains. Or send four type of thing. Because they will rush for a lot of yards. Right here, you see me put the contains out. We get a B gap. That's what we need with Mr. Javon Curse. Finally gets the pressure. And then he goes, no huddle, man. It's just so like, you get a stop, and then you got to just call a timeout. Because, you know, we're, thankfully right here, we play good defense. I'm like, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go guard the post myself. Praying the corner out doesn't get open. And that's how it ends up going. Right here, he actually calls a really good play. Um, I wish he would have dropped that. That would have made my life a lot easier. But he doesn't. And then he goes, no huddle. And I seen the guy one-on-one -on, -one on the left side. As soon as I seen that, I'm like, all right, bro, he's going to complete this. I tried to swat it. It didn't matter. Double me is two Zeus. I want to say that's double me. There's no way it's not double me. But nonetheless, he is. He just got to answer. And learn from my mistakes when I say this, please. Anytime, if you have the chance. I know second half, I didn't want to waste a timeout. When you have the chance, call a timeout. It will help you so much. And you will end up getting a stop w once in a while. If you don't call a timeout on a no huddle fourth down, I don't know what the stats are, but man, I swear they're clip they're completing it at 100%. Right here, great dot. I don't know how it gets open. Sherman Shea down. Um, and I'm at this point, I'm like, all right, bro, I actually just tucked this game off. But it's all good. We could definitely get a stop right here. He's gonna be running the ball. I'm, I don't know what this is. It's some type of under center doubles. Stretch. That's where say I was really good. I still was using him. I used him all of day one. Day two, I sold him. But man, he just, he's not it, man. He's good in the run game, but you just can't use it. Right here, he missed the tight end. It was wide open. He's going to try to have a bounce back play. Doesn't matter. End up tackling out of bounds. And this is by far the biggest play of the game. Depending on if he goes for two or the fourth down or not, we will see. He ends up getting bagged, just hitting the throwaway, I assume. And he ends up taking three. So here we go. Time for another money drive. Coming out in flood early, first play. And honestly, man, I don't know what that was. But man, that could have definitely been a book. So after seeing that, I'm like, bro, I got to chill out. That was almost like the flukiest. It was good defense. Should have been a pick. But I don't know how. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just random adjustment that once goes crazy. I hit, I just make the wrong read. That almost happened. I'm like, all right, got to take it slow. Couldn't stop bunch tight end. He couldn't stop the run. 
Mans is literally shifting his D-line, or excuse me, keeping his slot corner on the left. So you see me right here, I'm just taking advantage, right? It's free pickings. He finally makes it audible to man, then he calls it timeout. So you just like, look at him once more, uh, running my bunch to the right. I throw this very late, end up throwing a pick. Thought it was cooked, but you see his, his slot was on the left. I ran my bunch to the right. At the end of the day, I didn't make a mistake thinking this game was over, but we're gonna lock up. We're gonna try to lock up. Devin Hester still, I think that's Ocho now has double me. I don't know if he had both with double me or one, but I don't know, bro. They, these guys are all double me. Right there, Ocho has double me on the bottom. Uh, and he's trying to run this corner out. I don't know if he labbed it up. Joey Blunt, who just picked me off, comes in clutch. We're gonna try to fall down and chew clock in this gameplay. Um, and you see, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Like I could have scored that. I should have scored that, but I didn't want to give him the ball back. This dude was too crazy on, on offense. But going forward, man, we're playing the clock 100%. I'm good with the clock. It's just like, it, it's like when it's a new game, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what runs are good. I'm obviously seeing that you could just spam the hell out of the run. And when you need to dot up, you can. Second and five, we're gonna go wide curl right here. Throw to Franco and just honestly pretty good coverage. Not really anything there for me. Right here, going back to our bread and butter and he just couldn't stop it. Devin Hester on his third touchdown of the day. Bunch tight end is Zeus, Jets tour is Zeus. It might look a little ugly here and there, but it's gonna happen when you don't have a velo cam. You're not gonna have perfect 2020 games unless you're literally cracked out, cracked out on Adderall or something, guys. Um, you're gonna make mistakes if you're passing without a velo cam. It's just gonna happen. And let's see if we could get a stop for once and for all. We're starting to loop a little bit. This is something that a lot of people are starting to realize, starting to do. They're gonna like to start running this loop defense that was so meta last year. People thought it was patched. A little, little game for you guys, it's not patched. You can still do it almost every play if you can stop the run. Right here, I finally learned from mistakes. Called the timeout, third and seven. Um, still not the best defense. We're just in shade two, man. Shade down, man. And we finally get a shed, crucial shed by a big Aiden Hutchinson. And at this point in the game, we're like, all right, bro. Can't get off the field right here. We don't deserve to win. He's going to hit us with a wheel route to the right side. Marlon gets cooked. I don't know what to do right there because I'm in cover two man, which pretty much is shade down man, right, with a deep half. But if I shade up, everything is still open. So I don't know what to do right there. He ends up forcing an ill-advised read the next play, and we're just going to take a knee and end the game. So GG's to this guy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. And you know, that's how my gameplay is gonna be. When there's something hot and something really meta, I might make a video about it if I get to play it. So Bengals tight, video before I played Pat's trips tight end, that insane money, play wide post. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Until next time guys, I'll be seeing you guys. Wish me some luck this weekend, man. I, I gotta make a hell of a run. I got seven games to win to get to the live. I know I can do it.